Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. I'm Valder Beebe and I host the Valder Beebe Show. My job is to find the best interviews for you. And today I'm going to be speaking with Vanessa. Vanessa, what do you do for a living? Uh, currently, I'm a retired government employee of 30 years and I am running an assisted living facility for the elderly, the homeless, uh, veterans, and the disabled. You know, I wanted to talk with you because most people have their health and, and, and strength at a certain portion in life and they never think they're going to assist a living facility. This is true. Go ahead. This is true. I, I, I have 85 and 89 year olds who really don't think they need to be there. They still think that they can take care of themselves, but it, it's, it's all mental. It is. My aunt told me she was 99 when she passed. She said her spirit felt like a child, but yet she was 98 at the time. And she said, my body is not willing to do the things that I used to do. Right. So if you would need assisted living at some time in the future, what do you recommend? Because that's a uncharted waters for most people. Well, I would prefer to be in an assisted living facility versus a nursing home. It's like a smaller teaching environment for school or for children. You would rather one-on-one -on -one care versus a big facility that's giving you impersonal care. Uh, at the assisted living facility, it's like home, away from home. And we, uh, we find it necessary to, to appease our clients by providing foods that they like, games that they're interested in, TV shows that they like, and things that they like to do. Whereas at a nursing home, it's just one big group and you are kind of put aside in a little solace and you don't have those people there to nurture your spirit. And um, I, I find that it's best to try to look for a very reputable assisted living facility before putting your, your person in a nursing home. Have you found success in running a business as an assisted facility? Because in the future, I see this as, as a great industry, medical. Um, unfortunately, right now, uh, when it comes to Medicaid and all of the uh, different things that's going on with the changes with the, the, um, the Health Care Reform Act, we um, aren't being paid like we should be because it's better care to me versus what a nursing home is providing. If my audience wanted to find out more information, where would you send them? You got a website? Yes, my website is Bluffman House, B-L-U-F-F-M-A-N House dot com and I'm also on Facebook at Bluffman House. Thank you so much. You have a sacred job, but thank you for what you're doing because I see your success on the horizon. Thank you. And thank you for listening.